guys, River Dave, we're on the 22 Wildcat, and uh, what I wanted to show you here towards the back is how much room this boat has, both front and back. When you get into a 21 to 23 foot deck boat, usually they compress them so small that there's just not a lot of room in them. Uh, Cheetahs managed to figure out a way to get a lot of room in them. So, as you can see, I'm not a small guy. I fit in here fine. Uh, dual helms, which I like that quite a bit, the fact that they made them symmetrical. But if you look back here at the back seat, this is where they usually come up short. Normally, the back seat's right here and your knees are up against the back of this. And you can see, we got a ton of room back here. Now this particular boat is a small block, but it will fit a big block. This seat is actually going to be extended about an inch or two inches, uh, possibly even three inches in, in production. This is the prototype boat, and this is a little bit short. You kind of want it to come out to about right here, but they are changing that uh, in the new boats that they're delivering. Tons of storage in this boat once again. Uh, Mike, why don't you come over here and show them this. Huge uh, gunnel storage right there. And you have a nice cabinet right here where they're keeping their, their fenders and their throwable. So this is a, a large gunnel storage as well, right? So we're gonna go and lift up the engine hatch and uh, take a look at how this particular one's built. Again, this is the prototype boat. Uh, so they are making changes. All right, guys, as you can see, it's a pretty typical deck boat. I mean, with the large bench back seat, the whole thing opens up. There's a ton of room. They incorporated a little bit of storage here. They'll happily build you fender storage uh, on the engine bay floor like a lot of the other boats are doing. Batteries, everything's very easily accessible. And uh, this boat's pretty easy to work on. Not that I work on boats, but I know that all my friends that do would probably appreciate the amount of room they have to work around in here. All right, we're gonna lower this. We're gonna go off the walk off and check out the swim step. And uh, go from there. All right, guys. So we walked up here. We're on the swim step. Uh, not the world's biggest swim step, but you know they're trying to keep the boat 22 feet as well. That being said, it's a lot bigger than the swim steps of the boats I grew up in. Great for water skiing, wakeboarding, uh, you know, getting stuff like that. Family-friendly boat, 22 foot package. Ingress and egress is easy. Obviously, if I can do it being crippled, anybody can do it. They will offer, or it's an option. You can get an extended platform that'll go out a couple of feet. Uh, just an extended swim step basically. It's an option on basically every boat nowadays. So let's continue on. We're gonna go shoot the front and uh, show you how roomy it is. Okay guys, so we checked out the back of the boat. This is where this boat shines. It's considerably larger than any other boat in this class. Uh, as you guys know, I'm six foot. I'm not a small guy. You can put a lot of me up here. Six, seven guys, easy. Uh, the, back of the, the back of the seats goes back to that freeboard, freeboard, freeboard that we were talking about on the trailer. It's a taller boat, so when you're sitting down, it actually goes up on your back. You don't feel unsafe. You're not going to flip some kid out of the boat if you get into rough water. And obviously, with the taller freeboard, you have cavernous storage. I mean, the gunnel storage up here, you can see how far I'm reaching down. To give me an idea, I mean, they got a boat whip in here. You know, one of the big log boat whips, but uh, huge, huge, huge storage up front. This is the only sub 25 foot deck boat in terms of storage and hauling people and hauling gear that I would say would outperform a smaller V bottom. I've always, always, always maintained that I don't like small deck boats because I never saw the point of them. You know, I, I, I'd take a 21 Ultra over them usually because they haul more people and haul more gear. This particular one hauls more gear and more people than a 21 foot V bottom. So now we're gonna go out and take it for a rip and see how it runs and uh, we'll let the boat speak for itself. So being short and having a Bravo on it, this thing is incredibly nimble around the docks. We just launched it, and uh, you can see how kind of a turning radius it has just in forward gear. I mean, we're literally almost spinning around in our wake here. Exceptionally nimble, very, very easy to drive. Uh, great beginner's boat is what I would say, you know, just because it's so family friendly. We're gonna check it out, see how it gets on plane here.
right guys, we just came back from running the 22 Wildcat and I gotta tell you, it's a kick in the pants to drive. Uh, with a small block, it takes about four or five seconds to get on plane, which is about normal. You know, it's a big deck boat and they're, they're cats, so they don't come on plane that quickly. But for my family of, you know, two adults, three kids, perfect package for just towing your kids around, sips fuel. Strangely enough, uh, you know, the manufacturer, Cheetah, they told us we get like 56, 57 miles an hour. As you can see, we got a nice wind chop on the water here. We actually got 63, 64 miles an hour. I would show you that, but I accidentally tripped the, uh, <laughs> the race button on that thing trying to get it to recall, but I got pictures of it on my phone. So 63, 64 miles an hour. If you're gonna haul a lot of people around or a lot of gear, I'd probably recommend going with a big block, or if you wanna keep the small block with the uh, conservation of fuel, you know, so you're not blowing loads of money every week and running it, you can pitch down a size two if you're going up to Powell or you're carrying heavy, heavier gear or whatnot. Boat takes a nice set in 30 to 50 mile an hour turns. Obviously, just like any cat, I mean, these are very, very docile boats, so you can throw them into very awkward positions. But if you don't, if you're doing 60 and you're throwing it into hard turns, it's gonna wanna catwalk a little bit. That's why they call it catwalking, because they all do it. But uh, nice, smooth turns, uh, 50, you know, 50 to 30 miles an hour, takes a beautiful set. We didn't really have any rough water out here to, uh, to do that kind of portion of a test. I don't think this is a huge rough water boat, but what I can tell you is across this wind chop, running across other boat wakes, uh, just typical Havasu traffic, it's perfect. I like this is actually uh, probably my new favorite small deck boat, just simply because it's so usable, so functional, and so affordable. We're going to get some other ones uh, together, we're going to do a little uh, shootout test at some point in the near future, but for right now, really, really enjoyed taking the 22 Wildcat out. I personally like small blocks, I've never uh, made a secret about that on my forum. You know, a lot of people say, oh Dave, you know, Dave with the small blocks. I like the uh, the less weight in the transom. I like the, the fuel usage. If I was ordering one of these boats, I'd probably do it with a small block or one of those um, lighter LS style motors. You know, if you have to have more horsepower. But uh, what a great little boat, man. Check out the room. Huge, huge bow. Obviously the camera guy's standing in the, in the rear of the boat, but I don't know how you get this much room out of a 22 foot boat, but they did. And they got all the storage. They got a great running little fun boat to drive. You can't go wrong.